Ladies and gentlemen, it is with deep gratitude and respect that the University of South Carolina, along with Fort Jackson, Shaw Air Force Base, the South Carolina National Guard, the Navy, the Coast Guard, and sponsored by the Marines, presents our annual salute to the military of the United States of America. We have some special honorees today who represent all of our veterans, as well as those presently serving. Our distinguished honoree in World War II observed the force of 200 Germans pouring deadly fire into an American battalion. Crawling out ahead of his troops, he called by radio for artillery fire, but when he was about to correct the range, his radio went dead. Under heavy fire, he returned to his patrol twice, the final time having only an automatic rifle left. He relentlessly attacked, killing 20 and wounding many others. He captured 10 and an 11th pretending to surrender through a grenade which inflicted eight wounds. Bleeding profusely, he refused to return to the rear until he had the spot to block the enemy and see his men correctly deploy. He single-handedly stopped a counterattack, established an advanced position, and provided an inspiring example. The recipient of our nation's highest award, the Medal of Honor, Colonel Charles P. Murray. Our next honoree served in the Army's 173rd Airborne Brigade on two tours to Vietnam. He received five Bronze Stars, Vietnamese Cross of Gallantry with Bronze Star, and the Combat Infantryman of Badge. First, Lieutenant John Temple Ligon. Our next honoree served with the Marine Corps, 4th Division in the Marshall Islands, Saipan, and Iwo Jima. When the flag was raised in Iwo Jima, he stood to salute, and his helmet strap was shot by a Japanese soldier. He received the Purple Heart with Gold Star, Corporal R.W. Bob Hughes. Our next honoree served in Iraq with the 18th Airborne Corps, representing our reserves is Captain Michael Graham. Our next honoree deployed to both Operation Enduring and Iraqi Freedom. He led his squadron in over 643 combat missions with over 3,800 combat hours without a single loss. His numerous awards include the Distinguished Flying Cross, representing over 1,300 airmen of the South Carolina Air National Guard, is University of South Carolina alumni, Colonel Dean Pennington. Our next honoree served in Afghanistan, leading his team through countless direct fire engagements. During one of these battles, he was hit in the right shoulder and left leg. He received two Bronze Stars, the Army Commendation Medal with Valor, and the Purple Heart. From the 118th Infantry Battalion and representing over 10,000 soldiers in the South Carolina National Guard is Sergeant Major Cesar Hargrove. And here from Washington is Adam Aragast of the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Fund, who will present each of them with a special gift. Father Dennis O'Brien, the chaplain of the United States Marine Corps, wrote, What is a vet? He is an extraordinary human being, a person who offered some of his life's most vital years in the service of his country. Would all of our veterans, as well as those who presently serve, please stand. And when you hear your song, stand and salute your branch of the military.
While we salute those who are here among us, we gratefully remember those who have given the final full measure of devotion. If you have ever lost a friend or a loved one in the military service, would you please stand in their honor and remain standing as we salute all who have given the supreme sacrifice for our country. service of his country. With all of our veterans, as well as those who presently serve, please stand. As we, As we honor our loved ones, they be safe with Abraham, Abraham Lincoln, that we, we here highly resolve that these, that these dead shall not have died in vain, that this, this nation shall have a new birth of freedom, and that this, and this government, government of, the of the people, by the, by the people, for the, the people, shall not, not perish from the earth.